What's up you guys, it's Cody Cohen back at you with another video and today we're doing something completely custom to the 7.3. I'm really excited about this. We will be cutting a square out of the move bumper and removing this word, move, this cutout and replacing it with this no half ass cutout. All right, so we're gonna put that in place. We're gonna weld it, grind it smooth and then when the bumper's all done, welded and grinded up nice and smooth, we're gonna cover it in a white bed liner out of a spray can okay i'm really excited for that it's gonna have that white textured uh spray bed liner look and have no half ass in the front bumper so we can rep that at all times really excited about this one you guys so let's go ahead and get to it first thing we gotta do is unbolt the bumper and take it off maybe even before that i'll probably put the no half ass plate up and get it nice and square and level and then mark where our cut's gonna be uh cut it out weld it in i'll show you guys some welding and then well, paint it after that. So let's go ahead and get to it. I needed two hands for this and couldn't get it on video, but we did get our uh, new plate marked up or at least our cutout marked up. I used a protractor level to make sure that this was nice and level on the bumper. This turns and you could put it directly between the lines. So if the bumper and the truck are not actually level and they're sitting on, a, on an angle, you can level that out. And then when you put when you put the level on here and make it level then it, it matches so if everything is not level but you match them then you know it's square so we have our mark ready to cut out we can cut that take the bumper off now and cut that out and then uh move on from there All right guys, so we have our plate all cut out of our bumper. Here is the old one. The move part is cut out. Our no half ass part is almost about to go in. We just have to clean up the edges a little bit from when it was CNC. You can see there's a little piece sticking out right there a little farther, uh, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna clean it up with a, with a buffing pad on the edges and stuff, get some of this slag off and clean it up real nice. And it should slip right in and then we can go ahead and get to welding it. All right, guys, as you can see, our no half ass plate is in the bumper. It's just sitting there right now. It's not welded yet, but it's pretty much snug enough to where I was able to get it to stay there. Now we do have to do some tweaking. This corner is pretty much ready to be tacked. It's pretty much flush. And this corner is pretty much flush. So I'm gonna tack those two corners. Then this one needs to come up a little and this one needs to go down a little. So we'll just use the, the rubber mallet and tweak it a little bit, get it nice and close, tack the four corners. Once we have the four corners tacked, I'm gonna go back with a grinding wheel and just grind a little bevel through all of this so that way I can make sure we get good penetration with our weld and it won't be too much weld buildup and the weld won't be too high and it'll be less weld for us to grind away. So we'll have good penetration and easily grind all the weld away. So let's go ahead and get the welder out and put a few tacks on it. All right, the piece is tacked up and it looks great, all nice and flush. No high spots, no low spots. Four corners tacked and two tacks in the middle. Tacks aren't the greatest. This is kind of a, a cheap little 110 welder. I, I showed you guys in another video. It's, it's not very good, but it gets the job done. So it was kind of hard doing the tacks, but I had to hold the plate with one hand and tack with another or hold the plate in a certain spot with the hammer and tack with another. It's kind of tricky, but we can definitely do some good welds uh, once I get with two hands and really just concentrate on running a nice bead. So that's what we're gonna do now. Weld this thing up 
and then maybe we'll throw some weld in the back for extra strength and then we'll grind the uh, top down. Check it out, the no half ass plate is in the bumper, all welded up and grinded smooth. Check that out. We're pretty much ready for paint. Look at that. Nobody's rocking that kind of bumper that I've seen. I mean, that that's just so exciting. That is sick if you ask me. Look at this thing. Look at that. It's gonna look so sick with paint after. Super excited. So obviously, uh, we can paint that, we could put that rhino liner, bed liner stuff over paint. I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and run a quick sand over the whole thing just to kind of etch it up, put some scratches in it, clean it up, get any grease or any dirt off of it, wipe it down with a nice lintless rag, and then we could throw our bed liner on it. So almost there, let's get to it. Alright guys, so the bumper is sanded down lightly. All the sanding powder is wiped away and clean. It's nice and dry. So we're gonna go ahead and do the bed liner right now. Let me go ahead and go over the instructions for you guys on this stuff. Basically what we're gonna do is shake this up really good. There's a couple other videos on this stuff, but I'll go over it real quick. Shake it up really well. It says for up to two minutes. Then you take this red cap out of the lid and you place it on the bottom of the can. Place the can upside down on a hard surface and smack the, uh, the red lid and it releases a hardener into the can. So that way it hardens when you spray it. It says after you apply the hardener into the can, you have one hour to use it. So you pretty much have to use it right away. It's a one-time use can. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then you wanna spray about 12 to 18 inches away. It says 24 to 36, but some videos I watched said the can goes fast and you can get away being like 12 inches and get more use out of it and be okay. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do because we only have one can. So the paint is done, or the bed liner, I should say. It's all on there, it's all done. I would definitely recommend getting two cans, especially if you're gonna do something this size. I was not able to put a full two coats of that stuff on the bumper. I would call it one full coat, and then I was able to go back and just touch up on spots where you could still see bare metal and stuff like that, but definitely could not get two full coats on it. Luckily, since the bumper was already white, I think that helped a lot because if we kind of missed anywhere, it was a little light, you couldn't tell as much because it was already white behind it. If this bumper was all bare metal, we would not have been able to get the job done with one can for sure. You would still see bare metal on it. It would not be enough. So that's my little recommendation on that. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. Still have to wait for it to dry. You guys can definitely see it's got that textured bed liner look to it. Not bad for a can of a uh, spray can bed liner. Now this stuff isn't super cheap, unfortunately. It's about $35 a can, so we would have ran $70 if we had bought the two cans. Like I said, luckily this bumper was already white, so I think we got the job done just fine with one can. But if you're painting bare metal, 
I uh, would definitely get two cans and that's actually one thing you could think about doing a little bit of a trick Oh my god, look at that. That looks so sick. I'm so excited to put this back on the truck a little trick If you guys want to save a little bit of money If you guys want to save a little bit of money and do something like this instead of buying two cans for $70 You can buy a can of regular white spray paint and paint whatever you're painting first white if it's bare metal or black or whatever, get it all nice and white. And then with one can, you can get the textured look like I did here. One can got the job done. Again, fortunately, the bumper was already white. So that's a little trick you can use as well, or just buy two cans. And there it is, you guys. We are done. The bumper is back on just in time before it gets dark. I hope the wind's not messing up the sound right now. But check this out. Look at that. That is sweet. Like I said, I don't think anybody's rocking a bumper like that. That's custom. A lot of people put their brands and their stuff and they say stuff in their grill. Not the bumper like that, man. That is too cool. And I'm super excited for this uh, bed liner look. Look at this. That is cool. Super happy with that. Definitely could have done a better, a little bit of a better job with two cans, but it came out great. Cannot complain. I mean, look at this again. Check this out. Not bad for one $35 can of bed liner. We gotta put the shackles back on. I still have to finish tightening up the LED pods and stuff, but it's gonna get dark like I said, so I wanna finish this before doing all that. You guys get the idea, pretty much done. Look at that, look at that truck. And now I know I definitely wanna do the rear bumper with that bed liner as well, because it looks really good on the front bumper. And this spray can white that I did on the front bumper originally and the rear bumper just holds dirt so much. If you even get fingerprints and smudge and dirt on the regular rattle can white paint, even with clear coats, I put clear coats on it, it just holds the dirt. The dirt does not wipe off. Uh, but when I was installing the front bumper, I got a little bit of dirt on it and it wipes off that bed liner way easier and it looks really, really cool. So I definitely want to do the rear bumper with the bed liner. I'm just going to actually tape everything off. I'll probably throw a whole sheet of plastic over the truck tape off the plastic on the top of the bumper, maybe take off the backup lights, throw some plastic underneath and just really try and get it plasticed off and taped off as much as possible. And then just spray it on while it's on the truck because I do not want to take this bumper back off just for the bed liner. But I definitely want to get that bed liner on this bumper because it looks way better and it cleans off way better than the regular white does. You could see, you might not be able to tell, but it just definitely doesn't look as new as it was right when it was done. And it, it never cleans up like it, it never cleans up like real paint. You know, you get dirt on your truck on real paint, it just comes right off. But on that rattle can stuff, it just doesn't. I, I think you guys will agree that looks great. Again, super custom. You know, it doesn't get much more custom than that. I mean, I, I, I built that bumper and then I cut out the old letters and welded in these ones. It looks great, super happy. So all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the like button if you did enjoy the video and don't forget to check out knowhowfastapparel.com. Follow me on Instagram, ADHD Projects and Know How Fast Apparel. and I'll catch you guys on the next video.